Freedom! Today I wanted to talk to you about something awesome. Now, normally I don't do this style of video where it's a little bit, uh, you know, I've got the stuff behind me and whatnot. However, there's so much I need to talk to you about, um, and it's just, it's, I gotta compile it all into one video. Uh, there are two huge YouTube stories I need to cover, and uh, three, or one, one ish thing I wanted to talk to you about Twitter that I'm currently uh, toying around with right now that I think may be able to help you market your channels or yourself as a digital entertainer. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and switch over here we go. Uh, and I wanted to discuss this with you. Now, YouTube has a new feature called Super Chat that uh, is going to launch soon, if not already. Uh, this uh, was posted to a blog, link in the description to that blog if you want to read the whole thing, um, that allows people almost in a you now style uh, to uh, to contribute to their uh, favorite creators. Uh, now it does seem to be geared more towards live uh, live streams and that sort of thing. So that will be good for those of you who are doing live streams. If you're not doing live streams, you may want to consider doing that now. That does replace the feature called fan funding. Um, now we are not at this time sure whether that's going to be region locked and only available to certain countries, uh, much like fan funding was. Uh, however, we will be keeping our ears out for more information and we will report to you as soon as we know that. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about is this next story. This next story is a way that YouTube is looking to feature smaller creators. As soon as people hit uh, 1,000 subscribers, which I know to some of you may seem like a lot of subscribers, however, in the grand scheme of things, really isn't all that much. They are looking to start introducing these people to a wider audience on the uh, trending tab of YouTube and potentially other places as well. The wording seems very deliberate here, where they say that it's uh, going to be on the rise section of the trending tab. However, if this takes off, they may also put it elsewhere. So that's, that's going to be great for a lot of creators, and you should be able to see that now if you check out your trending tab. Uh, this is going to be a human curated with an algorithm um, solution. It's going to be about 50-50, so that's great to hear as well, that there is going to be some human involvement. Uh, all right, moving on to the next thing I wanted to talk to you about, which is Twitter. Now, I'm going to, uh, this is my Twitter page, and I've been running an experiment now for, um, since the 23rd of December, and I wanted to show you how I did this. My tweets earned over the past seven days, or one week, 111,260 impressions. That means that that many people saw my tweets. Now, how did I do that? Well, actually, um, it was kind of a little bit of, uh, a few things. Um, but I wanted to show you that and also show you this. Now here you can actually see that there's a decided point where my Twitter started taking off. Also, my followers started growing and growing and growing. Um, as you can see here, I've been mentioned by people such as Dr. Pepper. I uh, had discussions with people like Chris Crocker, who is the Leave Britney Alone guy, if you happen to remember that. Um, and John... Liger? I, I'm, I'm unsure how to sp uh, pronounce his name, but he is the CEO of um, T-Mobile. Um, and that's all in the past uh, past month or less. Uh, so I wanted to show you this. So here's where I started the, the experiment was December the 23rd, right before Christmas. As you can see, um, Christmas kind of died down because I was with family and wasn't really able to put much time into Twitter. But you can definitely see before and after um, how this was taking off and how it continues to grow. Um, and what I've been doing more or less has been engaging on Twitter, following people who have similar interests to me, responding to them, making jokes, making video clips and things like that, um, using Twitter video, um, also uh, making sure to record uh, this way, not this way. As a creator, if you record this way, shame on you. Always this way with your smartphone. Um, and I've been doing that uh, in a way to uh, interact with people, also to get more interactions. People seem to want to interact more with video than they do simply just text, but also images, GIFs, or GIFs uh, also work. Uh, and this is actually something that you can do to a certain extent, even using epoxy. 
to make those video clips for you from your videos in certain circumstances. Um, and uh, now, I, I understand that some people may say that they don't have the time to make responses, uh, say, 10, 12 times a day or whatever, to other creators to get that engagement. However, one of the things that I did alongside this was I started editing all those Twitter clips, because they're saved on your phone, into YouTube vlogs, um, which has... The vlogs on YouTube haven't done quite so well. However, as you can see, now I have a platform to market those on, and that's picking up as well. Um, so this is just a, a quick little tip I wanted to throw out, along with the YouTube news that we talked about here, such as uh, Super Chat and uh, the new up-and-coming creators and artists featuring that YouTube is doing. Uh, let us know in the comment section down below what you think of these. Also, let us know if you, uh, if you will be taking advantage of the new um, the new uh, Super Chat option, which will allow people to support you and your channel with uh, micro donations. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, friend and family.